Hi, I'm JJ from Cuisine on Locale. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick brine with pickling cucumbers. This is a fridge pickle. This is not the kind of pickle that you can can and keep for a long time. You have to eat them within a week, but it's a wonderful fresh recipe to take along to a potluck or a barbecue. What you do is you make a brine, and a brine is different from a pickle. A pickle is made with vinegar. Brine is just made with salt. So for your brine, what you're going to do is you're going to use one third of a cup of salt for a cup of boiling water. So I'm measuring out three cups of boiling water to one cup of kosher salt. You could pretty much use any kind of salt. Kosher salt is good for making dill pickles. It uh, melts easily into the water and it's not too expensive. You don't want to use a salt with iodine in it. There's no reason for us to use iodized salt anymore. We don't have goiter problems in this country anymore. So you're going to make sure that all of the salt is saturated into the hot water. Stir it until it's all dissolved. And then add ice cubes until the brine is cooled to about room temperature, or really until the ice cubes stop melting. Okay, once all of the ice cubes are dissolved, you need a jar. This is a classic ball jar. You can get them in any supermarket. Take a couple of cloves of garlic. You don't cut them. Just break them a little bit, like that. So you've got a couple of cloves of broken garlic in there. And then you take your cucumbers. Again, these are pickling cucumbers. Pickling cucumbers are just one of a lot of different kinds of cucumbers. But they're made to hold up when you pickle them. They don't get soft and mushy. Nobody likes a soft, mushy pickle. You can also use this recipe with other vegetables. It works with things like fennel. Um, a lot of people like to pickle green beans, and if you use green beans, you want to blanch them a little bit first so that they're not completely raw. And uh, if you grew up in the Midwest, you might call those dilly beans. So you're going to pack the cucumbers into the jar. You need to pack them in there pretty tight, otherwise they float up to the top. And then... Once you've got your jar packed full of cucumbers, see if we can squeeze a little bit more in there. Yeah. Okay, so once you get them really packed in, take a handful of fresh dill. And the dill is going to do double duty here. It's going to flavor your cucumbers, it's going to flavor your pickles, but it's also going to help to keep them pushed down into the brine once you put the brine in. It's sort of going to take up more space in the jar. So you really want to make sure that there's not a lot of space left over and that it all gets in there. And then you take your brine, and remember you've cooled your brine down to room temperature. You don't want to pour hot liquid on top of these cucumbers. So it's a really salty brine, and you fill up the jar, nice and full. Put the lid on and the ring. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. And then I like to give it a little shake just to make sure that everything's in there okay. Now, you leave these out on the counter for about three or four hours and then put them in the refrigerator for about a day or two before you eat them. So if you're going to do these for a picnic, you want to do them a couple days in advance. They'll last in the fridge for about a week. You really can't keep them much longer. If you open them up and they go fizz, that means that they've gone too far and they've started to ferment. You need to throw them away at that point. If you open them up and they're too salty, what you can do is pour off the brine, replace it with a little bit of fresh water, and then they won't be quite as salty. This is a very salty pickle. It's not a sour pickle. It's a classic kosher dill. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.